Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will do a few tests on this 24 volts permanent magnet alternator. Now you can see three thick wires coming out from this alternator. These three wires are there because it is a three phase brushless alternator. So guys, uh, this is a 55 watts 12 volts motorcycle headlamp bulb and I am going to glow this bulb by converting mechanical power into electrical power with the help of this alternator. Now as you can see I have used only two wires and the third wire is not connected. So I will be utilizing only one third of this generator's power at the moment. Okay. So you saw uh, that it easily glue this 12 volts motorbike headlamp bulb 55 watts and not just one filament but both the filaments. So guys now I'm going to measure the single phase voltage generated by this alternator with the help of this multimeter pointing towards 200 volts AC mode. Okay, so guys, watch the multimeter screen. Okay, go. So guys, as you saw that this alternator easily produced 24 volts. And the best part about this alternator is that it does not require any input voltage. Even the minute input voltage isn't required for this alternator since it contains permanent magnet. Now comes the main part because of which I'm making this video. Now guys, I have already conducted a similar test on a 12 volts car alternator, but now I'm going to perform that same test on this alternator permanent magnet 24 volts. And let's see how much output voltage can I get out of these three transformers connected in three phase delta format to this alternator. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so guys, now that you have seen the connections, I will simply explain them to you. These are three transformers. All the three are single phase transformers. Now this side of all the three transformers is the primary side, except for this one, 
because the primary and the secondary both the sides are on this side okay so the thicker wires means higher current and low voltage which is the primary side this one this one and these two are thick wires so this is also the primary and these are thin wires high voltage side low current side the secondary okay so guys here as you can see i have connected a multimeter with its pointer pointing towards 750 volts ac mode okay and uh, to the shaft of this alternator i have connected a crank so now i'm going to test how much voltage i can generate by cranking this alternator okay keep watching the multimeter screen you can see i'm rotating and it is producing some voltage okay as you can see i can easily generate around 60 volts now let's go a little bit further around 100 yeah it was possible for me to generate 100 volts with hand crank rotation now let's try and get beyond 100 volts and see what maximum i can do So I believe the maximum that I could do was around 130 to 140 volts with hand crank rotation. Now let's do some rope rotation test to measure the maximum voltage I can get from this alternator. So keep watching uh, the multimeter screen. Okay, go. Whoa, I believe it was beyond 1000 volts because of which the meter burned out. So guys, I must tell you that this was the maximum voltage that I ever generated. Now let's connect some practical loads to it and see what happens. So guys, now what I have done is I have connected a 100 watts bulb to this transformer system and now I'm going to crank this alternator so guys you saw that I glue this 100 watts 220 volts bulb by hand crank rotating this alternator although the power required to light up this 100 watts load was much more than when i conducted this same test with a 12 volts car alternator that is because the generated voltage is much higher since it's a 24 volts generator and a car alternator was only 12 volts but the current was much higher so guys i was going to finish off this video but it just struck me in my mind that uh, since uh, the generator is producing really high voltage i could test this fluorescent tube if this setup is producing voltage high enough to light up this fluorescent tube without the booster circuit since the voltage generated by this setup was around 1400 volts AC well I will give it a try Now I will remove the crank since that is not going to be needed. I have to rotate it at a really high RPM with uh, the rope rotation. Okay, so guys, watch the CFL. Yeah. So guys, as you saw, that it generated voltage high enough to glow this fluorescent tube directly without any booster circuit although it was flickering that was because as soon as it got lit up the generator got really loaded because of which the speed of the alternator reduced and this CFL stopped glowing and this happened until the rope got finished so guys I hope you learned a lot from this video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe and if you have any queries you can always ask them in comments Thank you.